Welcome. Who you are is determined by whom you are with. Your identity is in tandem with your affinity. Once again, welcome back to another episode of Vivek Tegurshi Vlogs. My dear friends, Niti Ayok has come up with multi-dimensional Poverty Index 2021 and to no one's surprise the report has put Kerala on top being the state having the least number of poor and marginalized and the percentage goes below one percentage. Now this is not the first time where the government of Kerala has shown commitments to its people and showing people-centric administrative examples. In the last one year, multiple reports have came by which shows the people-centric approach of Kerala's governance. Let me go through a few. In Niti Ayok's Urban Sustainable Development Goals Index, Trivandrum and Cochin occupied fourth and fifth positions being the cities with best sustainable solutions. Again, in the annual status of education report published again by the Niti Ayog, Kerala has become the state which provided best education solutions during the pandemic. Our program First Bell has been globally acclaimed. Then, in the Public Affairs Index, of course, in 2021, Again, to no one's surprise, Kerala occupied the top position for the fourth consecutive year, being the best governed state in India. Last but not least, in Sustainable Development Goals Index, which predicts the likability of a state to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals, Kerala has been declared the state which is most likely to achieve the sustainable development goals. Now this is Kerala on one side and on the other side you have those states which are governed by the right-wing bourgeois reactionary political parties. The performance of these states which are governed by those political parties such as uh, the BJP, Congress, etc. are abysmal. Would you believe if I say 52% of the population of Bihar are poor? 40% of the population in Uttar Pradesh are no different. And the indices showing health, education, social empowerment, gender empowerment, etc. do not go well with these states. Now some of you may say this is because the states are very huge in population and they don't have enough revenue options. I am really sorry I don't buy that argument. Because these states are home for huge corporate houses which earn in millions. It is because the government is reluctant to go for an apt taxation policy with the corporates that they don't get enough revenue. And with the revenue they have earned, they are helping corporates again with tax incentives and whom they are leaving aside, whom they are leaving to the fate, the common man, the working class, the downtrodden. And I'm not saying, is, saying this just for the sake of an argument. When you see the amount of money the central government get through the petroleum prices, it's around 12 to 13 lakhs crores, 12 to 13 lakh crores. 
and what do they do with this money you will know what do they do with this money when you see the amount of money which the central government through banks written off it it comes around 8.5 lakh crores and the money is taken not by the poor man the money the loan is taken by huge corporate houses who you are is identified by whom you are with the central government is bourgeois reactionary right wing because it stands with the large corporate houses the money they get from the people the money they reap from the people are being shamelessly transferred to the large corporate houses the huge capitalists whether national or multinational whom uh, whom there is a sustainable development option for them they don't need external support to develop whereas this poor working class proletarian needs support of the government what is a way forward the way forward is people's democratic revolution what is people's democratic revolution it is the democratic revolution which is which is led by empowered people now how do we empower them we empower them by giving them independence giving them options to explore giving them the dignity of their life giving them opportunities to develop i could say one example of doing that government of kerala provides pensions to old age people why now some right wing reactionaries may say it is part of freebie politics where they give money for votes i would strongly disagree because there is economics in it when you provide money for the people their choices expand they can buy different things which hitherto not possible when they buy different things the demand of those things increases leading to higher production when they need to produce more they need more people to employ when more people get employed they get money in the form of wages and salaries and when they get money in the form of wages and salary again the demand for different goods rises and the cycle continues to prosperity this is very basic common economics which is not unknown to any bourgeois reactionary ideologists but they don't gain anything from that they gain only from this corporate economics because the corporates helps these bourgeois political parties to come back to power congress and bjp have no difference in it they do not want to come to power with the help of the people just because they help people they want to come to power with the help of few corporates by simply helping them out that's when i say who you are is determined by whom you are with now what's the way forward i said empower the people empower the people so that they can lead this people's democratic revolution which would transform our society into a socialist one whereby every person gets everyone's needs not anyone's greeds remember you cannot gain anything you cannot get anything without uniting identify your class not your religion not your region not anything else identify your class by saying that i am a i am a student i am i belong to youth i am a farmer no by saying that i am hindu i am muslim i am christian i am keralite i am punjabi etc identify your class and fight with class unity 
A wonderful example, a historic example of the strength of class unity is being shown in the form of farmers' protest. Now, farmers protest not on their identity of Punjabi or Keralite or UP or from Gujarat, etc. They fought on their identity of a particular class that is farmer class. Identify your class and be united in that class and fight for your freedom, fight for your values, fight for your rights. Always develop this class unity so that whatever government that comes, even the right wing, bourgeois, reactionary government will be forced to accept your demands. They will be forced to accept your dignity. They will be forced to accept your existence in this planet. Thank you very much for watching. See you again in another episode. Signing off, Vivek Tenguruji.